hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the editing process of the indian type girls and the photo credit goes to joita Frin. she just given me this type of photo for editing and tutorial purpose and thanks a lot to her and here before one was like that and after one i just done this type of editing and this one was the ornaments type shoot and the shari and the here is the color you know that before one and after one so how to do that what i have done here let's see at first i just done a copy of the layer for the backup purpose and then i have done the dodge and burning process and before that the spot healing or the skin smoothing process the before one uh, before one was like that and after one just adding the smooth skin i just got this result after that this one the dodge and burn and after that i just added a preset which i made it earlier and added a like gradient for the fill color and then the lights that is the levels and the effects from the cross processing and nick collection and the levels for the light adjustment and then finally i added another piece for the light adjustment finally so let's jump into the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications at first go to the file and open up here is the main image which is not edited this one and press ctrl j for the backup purpose and after that press ctrl g again and then giving the name the skin some spots and i'll remove that out with, by the help of the spot healing brush tool and make sure that the container is on and the size of the brush you can adjust the size according to the pixel or according to your query so the normal mode and then just place once if i make it zoom here just drag it and the spot will remove from here and here that's good and then uh, i'll go to the filter and photo toolbox skin finer if you want to get the skin finer and if you want to get the detailed video about the skin finer you can find out my video description or you can check out my like uh, cards over here so here the smooth skin and other stuffs uh, here i made the hue of the skin tone a little bit down or like minus 9 for the red type colors and saturation i'll make it a little bit down minus 8 and brightness i'll make it down and that's why i'll add the dodge and burn options in later and the next like uh, next step and contrast i'll increase the contrast and shadow i'll increase and then the highlight i'll make it a little bit down and smoothing that is the 65 and i'll make here 5 for the fining and you can increase that up if you need and hit the ok button so smooth skin or skin is smoothing whatever you can tell this one is done and next process is i'll add the like shadow and highlighting or the effect from the camera or filter again press ctrl j so now i'll add the shadow and highlighting that is the dodge and burn process press ctrl j and j so two things and i'll give the name shadow or highlight highlight for the age and shadow for the shadow so here select the age options go to the age layer actually go to the blending mode and make it screen right press blending options from here find out the highlight area of the face yeah i got the highlight area of the face press the alter button and divide the slider and adjust the light with the face that's good and hit the ok button after that make it mask and go to the image apply image and after that hit the ok button and then turn on the shadow layer go to the blending mode blending mode from make it multiply right press blending options from blending options find out the shadow area of the face and adjust the shadow with the face by the slider sliding 
and hit the ok button and same process make it mask and image apply image in this case i will make it in word option and hit ok and select these two things make it group and give the name dodge burn i'm giving the short name db in dodge and burn and then mask it out image apply image and just invert uncheck the invert option and hit ok so you're getting the light in a face good and select these two things make it group and make it merge the name group skin db that means skin tone and the dodge and burn that's good and after that go to the filter camera filter here i made a preset for you guys and i'll provide you that preset download link in my video description you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop creative cloud version by default if you want to get the download link of this photoshop like a camera filter in your cs version and earlier version please check out my video description for the download link here is small menu go to the load settings options and i just added the preset which is the sadia that's good and just get this type of result so what i have done here let's see here the temperature minus four for the little bit cool effect and here is the tint plus four and exposure 15 contrast plus 6 and highlight minus 100 shadow that is 51 whites 40 why i just made like that whites for the this type of ornaments i made it 40 that means increased that and blacks minus 9 for the ambient that's good and shadow i made it plus 51 just because of i want to make the light proper light in a face and clarity plus 5 don't make it upper 15 or 17 uh, 17 that's good and vi variance or vibrance whatever you can tell or mid tone that is minus 6 and saturation minus 4 i just made it little bit dim and then the rgb tone curve that is the tone curve rgb tone curve i made it little bit matte type i want to make it like that you can increase you can get more matte over there so i locked here and locked here what i have done here here is lots of lights and other things and here is no lights and other things so that's why i just locked it up and i made it a little bit upper to adjust these type of things and here i didn't touch that and a little bit i just touched that and blue as well here is no color or no nothing that's why i just made or fill that up with that color which is just providing you the little bit of warm type color from here you are getting the green color i made a little bit down over here and a little bit up over and here and i just locked it up and red just locked in a middle and down from here for the adjustment like that and the sharpening amount 49 and luminance of noise reduction plus 10 you can make more things or make uh, more value for the luminance of noise reduction if you get more noise in your photographs but warning is that don't make it upper 30 otherwise it will spoil your photographs and most important thing is the hue saturation luminance hue i didn't touch that but saturation i just worked with that that is the red saturation i made it 38 and for this shari and the flower i made it like that and luminance i made it orange in a, uh, like plus 28 what is hue saturation luminance hue is that color which one you provide or the photoshop providing you that means the color build saturation how deep will be the color and the luminance how light will be the color that means how blink the color in your eyes or audience eyes here i want to make it more blink in the audience eyes and a face color as well the orange color that's why i made it plus 28 and yellow plus minus one just because of here is a blouse and here the color yellow if i make it like that it will be more like prominent but i don't want to make it more minus just because of in a face you are getting some yellow that's good and the green plus two uh, just because of it has a little bit greeny tone greenish tone that's why i made it like that and blue for the cool tone i make it minus seven that's good and the split toning i made the value highlight and shadow highlight value that is the 48 or uh, the saturation that is eight and 48 actually 84 and the saturation eight and the hue 273 and the saturation 7 no lens correction issues over here and the effects i made it little bit or more dehaze like that it was like uh, hazy like that but i want to make it like more prominent in the audience eyes that's why i made it plus 12 
and the amount of the vignetting that is the little bit vignette okay like that but i made it minus three like moderated things and the uh, camera calibration here plus 45 and hue plus 34 and hue minus 30 and here is the primary red color plus 45 and primary green color plus 34 and the hue i made it like minus 13 and plus 3 minus 13 i made it like the yellowish tone actually the cool type tone like that if i make it more increase like that it will be more red type but i don't want to do that so i made here a moderated like that uh, yeah like that and hit the ok button you'll get the result for the effects or camera or filter like that now you are getting the model popped up from the background that means in this photo popped up model from the background and it's just giving you extra exposure so go to the filter again uh, in this case i will add some like more vignetting or gradient go to the adjustment layer and go to the gradient portion here is a small our uh, last one gradient and make it linear to radial reverse and 350 the scale and just drag it in a face and make it zero degree and give it the dither or you can increase the 400 that's good for these photographs select these two things make it group and make it merge after that go to the filter and then nick collection color effects pro 4 and in the color effects pro 4 you know that this one is another plugin of the photoshop i'm using the cross processing from here yeah lots of method and other stuffs you can check it out and which one is perfect for your photographs i don't know i'll add here 0 to l02 for these photographs and hit ok so it will take time to load it up and give you the final output of the face and it will be more prominent and nice thing so it's loading up and it depends on your pc configuration and from here i'll select these two things make it group and make it merge after that i'll add a levels which is uh, adjust of the light go to the levels and adjust from here and adjust from here that's good and then select these two things make it group and make it merge and after that i will add another preset for the camera or filter and go to the adjustment and go to the load settings options from here sadia adjust and open it up so here i use the de highlight this one a little bit and here the clarity up and the vibrance up that's it for this and hit the ok button you're getting the moderated light in the uh, left side just because of light is coming from the left side and just highlighted this face and you are getting properly shadow in a face highlight in a face and this one is the main thing for the portrait photography or portrait drawing shadow and highlight if this one is the perfect the sh uh, portrait will be more precisely perfect for the audience that's all for today thank you so much thanks for watching my video tutorial if you have any kind of question query or request please do comment on my video comment section and if you want to get the download link of the preset please check out my video description and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications of my channels and more amazing things are coming how to do the all the stuffs like photography and editing and design and drawing as well so thank you so much until the next video i may say i'm signing out today bye bye